What's going on, folks? We got another beautiful Michigan day here in quarantine. Check out this weather. April 17th, snow showers still. What? What do you expect, man? It's Michigan. So I want to bring you guys out here, show you my homemade dump truck setup. Check it out. All right, so here you got it. First off, we got two by sixes running down the side, painted those black, and that they're supported by two by threes, which are into these little uh, handles you got or whatever holes you want to, whatever you want to call that. We got three of them going down the side. One, two, three. Same on the other side. One, two, three. And up front here, check this out. We actually decided to go across the front. I decided to go across the front, screwed them in. Same thing with two by sixes, just for extra support, extra stability. I didn't want my sides to be flapping in the wind like I see a lot of sides do. I feel like it just looks more professional that way. So we got the uh, we got the load handler, the truck bed cargo unloader. We got the LH3000. This is the heavy duty version. Uh, this one actually runs about $175. I know the light duty version is actually around $45. It's a lot cheaper, but it only unloads 2,000 pounds, whereas this unloads 3,000 pounds. 1,000 pound difference. I'm just trying to you know put four and a half yards of mulch, four to four and a half yards of mulch back here at a time and 2,000 pounds wasn't gonna cut it. Also, we're gonna be using this almost every day in the spring and fall, so I, I wanted something that was gonna last me. We got a six by eight tarp up here, and that's uh, put on real simple. You can see the, the tarp, let's look down here. We got these holes in the tarp. We got one here, one here. You know, you got five holes across the front of the tarp. And so I took that piece of trim and took a screw to each hole, one, two, three, um, through the hole. I also did one, you probably can't see, but I did a little piece right there. I did a little piece on the other side too, just to securely hold the tarp up there. It's a six by eight, like I said, and it runs all the way back here. The nice thing about the load handler is that it's got this little, little gap right here. I put the bungee in on both sides and you can just play around with this. There's a lot of, if your bungee is long or short, you can play around to get the right tension to hold your tarp still. So that's nice. And then let me undo this real quick for you. Show you guys this. Never mind. But let's look underneath here. So since I had a, a plastic spray and bed liner, I had to actually buy this uh, little rubber mat. It's called the skid guard skid guard i guess that's how they spell it g-a-r-d nice uh but yeah i got this skid guard uh just so that i protect this material under a heavy load if you have like a the rough spray and bed liner you'll actually tear up the tarp on this guy so that skid guard actually ended up running me about 90 dollars. not the end of the world and so so the whole intention here is to when we get to the dump, we'll take off, we'll undo the tarp from the back, roll it over, um, take the cargo unloader, roll the tarp all the way out and up the back a little bit, have the guys load the mulch in here, or if we're doing cleanups or bagging grass or whatever, whatever debris, we'll put back here, you know, tarp it down with the bungees. And then when we get back to the dump or wherever, whenever we're dumping, we got a little handle that goes in here and we'll crank it and everything slowly falls off the back of the tailgate, which is real nice. You know, I, I've been in this business for five years and it's nice to not have to shovel everything out or rake everything out of your trailer or your truck bed. Uh, it's just saving time and an investment like this was well worth it. So I hope you guys learned something. Hope this helped you out. Go ahead and do the same thing, man. It's all about uh, productivity. So take care, stay healthy, stay safe. If you guys got any questions on how I did any of this, leave me a comment, guys. I'd be happy to answer. See you.